Hey, what is going on viewers? Zesty Lime Studios here and welcome back to another drinks review. Today, we're reviewing another one of these candy can drinks, but this one is gonna be on the bubblegum version. So I did get this particular drink off of the website Goodies Suisse. It's one of these uh, English websites where it sells, you know, American candy and drinks and soda like that. Now I have a special discount code for you guys. If you want to save 15% on anything you order or a order in general, you can use code ZESTYLIME. The code will be in the description below if you didn't understand me properly. So guys, 15% off any order, go check them out. It's worth trying for 15%. Anyways, so yes, it's the candy can bubble gum. It is zero sugar and it says, eat it, don't, sorry, what does it say? It says, don't eat it, drink it. Nice, nice punchline. Anyways, let's give you guys a 4360 of the can. So we're a fairly cool looking can design. This is the 330 uh, milliliter can. So it's the same size as a Coke can, albeit this is more of a, well, it's taller rather than wider, isn't it? Like normal Coke cans are. So I said, we have quite a cool looking can design. We have the kind of circles on the front of the can. We have the blue, the pink, kind of the reddish, the white. So it does look fairly cool on the front. Looks literally like a proper sweet shop style drink. So it does look, you know, does look fairly good. We've got the, uh, said the don't eat it, drink it bit, candy can and then zero sugar with the bubble gum at the bottom. And then on the back, we've just got the ingredients and stuff in white, which is easier to read than what the other can was. On the bottom of the can, we have nothing. And on the top, everything is all standard and silver, including the pour ring. So anyways, taking a close look at the can. So looking at the bag, so it is sugar free. So we haven't got to worry about any sugar in the drink. Now the sweeteners this drink contains are, let's see, so it does say with sweeteners and the sweeteners are sucralose and acetylene K. So no aspartame, which is good. But apart from that, there's nothing else interesting on the can. It's not an energy drink, so it hasn't got any caffeine. There's no sugar. Um, yeah, the only interesting thing is they're based in Netherlands, apparently. Candy can in Amsterdam, Netherlands. So, yeah, that's pretty much all it about the drink. So, anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup, but let's get straight to it. Hopefully, it won't explode over me. So, I'm guessing the colour is going to be either clear or it's going to be a cloudy white. But, of course, we'll have to find out. Right, don't explode over me. There we go. Now, of course, I am going to be comparing this to Bar's bubblegum drink, which, of course, is very nice and very tasty as well. Well, oh, actually, if this is bubblegum, I reckon it's going to be blue in colour. I reckon it's going to be blue. Yeah, it's got to be blue, surely. Hey, viewers, Zesty Lime Studios here. If you want to save 10% discount on any of these Zest Gamer products, don't forget to use code ZESTYLS. The code will be in the description below. These are my two personal favourites, Horus and Hyper Beast. Thanks, guys. Oh, that's really tough pouring. Look at the indent that made in my finger. Ouch. Right. So it should be one of three colours. And there'll only be one way to find out. Because the colour is... Uh, okay, I was wrong again. It's pink. Now, I guess that makes sense for bubblegum. But Bar's bubblegum is blue. Which is really interesting. But yeah, look at that. That's actually nice and pink in colour. Just, I guess, kind of like bubblegum actually gummies. But then again... Bubble gum is and can be different colours as well. But yeah, pink. Definitely don't think of that. I was wrong about that. <laughs> Minus one point to me. So yeah, it's pink and it's cloudy pink as you cannot see through the drink. As you can't see my face through the drink. So fizz-wise, there was a little bit of fizz on the top then. There's almost no bubbles on the side whatsoever, which is not a bad thing because I generally prefer less fizzy drinks anyway in general. So let's give it a closer smell now and see what we can smell of. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does smell like bubble gum. Oh, that smells really nice. It smells really nice of bubble gums because it literally smells like you've put a fresh piece of bubble gum in your mouth and you've got that. You know, with bubble gum and stuff, the flavor lasts for like 10 seconds or something like that. It's like you've got that initial really bubbly gum, you know, smell in here. And it smells really nice. It doesn't smell like chemicals or it doesn't smell like, you know, bubble gum toilet cleaner or bubble gum air freshener or something like that. It does smell generally nice with a nice piece of bubble gum gum <laughs> oh that does smell nice cool well nevertheless guys let's taste some oh the aftertaste on that is disgusting oh oh the aftertaste on that is dreadful 
Initially, it tastes okay, and then the aftertaste, oh, that aftertaste is horrible. Jesus. Ugh, that is disgusting. Oh, that aftertaste is rank. Ah. So, yeah, it's an initial reaction to that. Oh, that tastes weird, that aftertaste. Oh, that is just disgusting, that aftertaste. Ah. So anyways, yeah, like I said, initial reaction. It tastes okay at the very little first bit, but then straight after that, the flavour goes straight away and it just comes into this ending of the drink, which is just, which is just so weird. So let's talk about the rest of the drink first. So even though it's sugar-free, it still seems to be fairly sweet, which I guess is good thing for it being sugar free so you still got the sweetness there even though it's sugar free so for people that do like the sweeter drinks even though it's sugar free then you know you will like the sweetness uh, in this drink but the sweetness to one side the flavor so it doesn't taste like bubble gum gum whatsoever it tastes it this one does taste a bit chemically to be fair at the beginning like i said the very initial sip you take of the drink seems to be okay like it seems all right at the beginning but the more you know the more sips i take of this the beginning seems to just be really weird as well the bubble gum taste this it's really artificial to the point where again comparing this to bar's bubble gum drink the bar bubble gum is a million times better and you know the bar bubble gum drink is pretty much sugar free as well it's really low on sugar so the bars one is just a million times better compared to this. So I don't know what they've what they've done to this blend in this drink, but the beginning of the drink it, you get just a slightly bit okay-ish bubblegum flavour. But to be honest, the more I drink of it, the worse it gets. So you get this weird bubblegum taste at the beginning, which tastes a bit chemically, and then said so that drops off really really fast, just like the gum does in real life. And then the ending and the aftertaste is just unreal. It's like a really nasty really nasty unreal taste of bubble gum in my mouth and it's really really strong and off-putting um let me try some out the can yeah 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 i don't know what on earth they've done to the blender but it's a really off-putting aftertaste ending to the drink and that really is not great whatsoever it's just i think it's a combination of it being a really weird taste in bubble gum a bit chemically taste and just it just being overall just not a good drink like honestly this has got absolutely nothing on bar's bubble gum drink that's one thing bar have perfected is their bubble gum and their cream soda drinks they've really got spot on but this this is no good and the rest of that will be going down the drain 100 percent. yeah that's not great that is not great whatsoever um yeah i mean it definitely smells i mean it smells much better than it tastes it smells way better it actually does smell all right, you know, compared to that taste. That taste is just, just shocking. I'll try one more sip and then I'll give my final views on the drink. Yeah, that very initial, very initial spot is just okay, but then it goes all downhill. So for them reasons, it gets a thumbs down from me. Definitely avoid this drink. Don't buy it if you see it. It'll be wasting your money. You are just so much better off buying bars, bubble gum drink million times better just just buy the bar bubble gum drink so anyways viewers if you have tried that drink now let me know in the comments below but as always thanks for watching again you can check that description you can follow me on tiktok instagram or twitter or if you want to support the channel you can check out my patreon minimum support is one pound and i'll go towards new drinks which means new videos for the channel so as always thanks for watching